Hey there and welcome to this week's Golf Equipment q and I'm Valerie Melvin here with Frank Thomas and we're at the putting pad at Reunion Resort in Orlando, Florida. So hop along for a putting lesson. Uh, this week we had a question from Harold who's reached the ripe old age of 50 and uh, Harold wants to know, Frank, how can he go about lowering his handicap? He feels a bit frustrated that he's been kind of stuck at one level. Do you have any advice for Harold? Um, Harold, there are a number of things I'd suggest. First of all, don't consider yourself old. Just because you got an email from the AARP to say that you're now eligible, that that's, doesn't mean a thing. Uh, you're only started on, on, the, on the back nine. You're not, not anywhere near <laughs> uh, old age. So don't worry about that. Second is, I think you should be realistic about the tees you play from. Most golfers play from the wrong set of tees. They go ahead and, and, and overestimate how far they can hit the ball, and as a result, they don't enjoy the game very much. The third thing I would suggest is, is uh, decrease the number of clubs in your bag. If you decrease the number of clubs in your bag, you'll find that you take the club that will hit the ball a little further, you'll ease up on the swing, and as a result, you'll, you'll hit the ball very much more effectively. The other thing I'd suggest is find a, a I mean, get a good putter a very well fitted putter because it's very important that your putter is fitted to you correctly then you'll be able to putt correctly and and find find a certified putting instructor if you go onto our site you'll see the uh, a world map of where all the certified putting instructors are and they're pga professionals so go ahead and find one and get a lesson very good frank well thanks for that and um, we'll be back in touch next week but until then may the frog be with you Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Find your frog at franklyfrog.com. Ribbit.